In this press conference, I have two messages for you all. Firstly, some protesters exploit the so-called disobedience campaign to cause chaos in the society, taking justice in their own hands. Secondly, radical protesters hijack public gatherings and exploit them to commit violence, acts like assaulting police, attacking police stations and facilities. They attempt to paralyze our services. Yesterday, in the excuse of peace and disobedience campaign, protesters blocked many major roads, including cross harbor tunnels, set barricades, and paralyzed traffic. They even damaged traffic lights extensively. Many of them were out of order until this morning. Major road junctions were disrupted, leading to serious risk of traffic accidents. Not only road traffic was paralyzed, but the obstruction also went underground. Yesterday, a pregnant woman was feeling unwell on MTL train. I was shocked that the protesters were disregarding others' safety. The riotous act actions caused great inconvenience to the general public and placed ordinary citizens in great danger. A number of rioters even took justice in their own hands. When they disagree with others, they would resort to violence in order to punish them in their own way. They shows a total disregard of the rule of law. Many citizens were living in fear as they worried such violence would happen to them. Within two short months, the rioters have recklessly destroyed the rule of law. Their acts have seriously hampered public safety. Many ordinary citizens were living in fear. Secondly, these rioters hijack public gatherings and stage protests as flash mobs using guerrilla tactics. These acts often descend to violent incidents like attacking police officers, vandalizing police stations, vehicles and facilities. They paralyze police services and neglect the importance of all emergency services. Yesterday, some of our officers were attacked by rioters who shot metal marbles and threw suspected corrosive fluid. A large number of them surrounded police station in Tim Sa Chui, Tin Shui Wai, Tai Bo, Chin Wan, Sa Tin and Wang Tai Xin. They intend to paralyze police services, cause serious harms to citizens' safety. What worse, some protesters even throw petrol bombs at the police headquarters, narrowly missing a taxi that drove by. As a result of the reckless acts, the service of in total of 21 police stations were affected. The emergency services of police and even fire services were hampered. This placed the public in danger. I'll, I would also like to draw your attention to the fact that the rioters also attack disciplined services quality, quarters. The residents, they are just ordinary citizens consisting of children and the elderly. Rioters threw bricks into their flat and placed them in great danger. Such acts are totally unacceptable. Here I will give you an update of arrest figures. During the operation yesterday, the police arrested 148 people consisting of 95 males and 53 females aged between 13 and 63 years old. Their offenses include taking part in the riot, unlawful assembly, assaulting a police officer, resisting police officer in the due execution of duty, possession of offensive weapons. The officers fire around 20 spongy tip bullets, around 140 rubber bullets, and 800 tear gas grenades. During the operations, seven officers sustained injuries, one officer had his teeth broken and lips injury by metal balls. Some officers were hit by bricks and hard objects. Also, we noticed some online discussion about the Unimar. Here, I would like to briefly talk about uh, the Unimar. The police purchased this Unimar in 2009. Their main functions were to clear debris from roads, including the barricades and objects placed by the rioters. Also, as some of our vehicles were under attack, this truck can avoid such situation. I would like to say 
this vehicle is defensive in nature rather than uh, uh, attacking. I pledge to every politician that we are capable and determined in controlling the situation and restoring public order. In fact, most parts of the community are back to normal today. I must emphasize that both police and the public play a part in maintaining law and order. May I ask everyone in Hong Kong, do we still tolerate and promote such violent acts? I hope every citizen will work together to restore Hong Kong's public order and safety. We should not tolerate or participate in any violent acts so that Hong Kong can soon revert to the right track. Thank you.